Microplastic pollution. How many plastic particles do we eat and inhale? Scientists have estimated which countries have the highest microplastic pollution. It turns out that people in China inhale the largest amounts of plastic particles. In terms of dietary microplastic consumption, Indonesia topped the list. Scientists from Cornell University have estimated how much plastic particles people unknowingly consume, both by inhaling plastic particles and consuming them in their diet. They also determined which countries have the biggest problem with it. A study published in the journal Environmental Science and Technology showed that people in China, compared to citizens of other countries, inhale the most microplastics. When it comes to eating plastic particles, Indonesians consume the largest amounts. Microplastics, i.e. plastic particles with a diameter of less than 5 mm, are a growing problem for the environment and public health. They are present almost everywhere on the planet, in the air, water, and soil. They are found on remote islands and even in the Arctic. They are also present in food and drinking water. But these particles enter our bodies not only through ingestion, but also through inhalation. Since the early 1950s, plastic consumption around the world has increased exponentially, translating into thousands of tons of waste ending up in landfills and oceans each year. In landfills, but more so in the oceans, these plastics begin to crumble into smaller and smaller pieces under the influence of ultraviolet radiation in sunlight and the constant friction caused by waves. Once plastic trash has broken down to the point where it can no longer be seen with the naked eye, tiny pieces of it continue to pollute the environment. This material not only enters our digestive system, but can also penetrate the intestinal barrier. Tiny pieces of plastic have been found in human saliva, lungs, stool samples, and also in blood. The particles settle in the respiratory tract and can even penetrate the brain. In recent studies, microplastics have been detected in the placenta and testicular tissue. In a new study, scientists examined microplastic consumption in 109 countries around the world. The researchers took into account both plastic inhaled and that eaten with food products. In their analyses, they took into account the eating habits of the inhabitants of each country, the dominant food processing technologies, the average age of the population and the breathing rate. Scientists noted that all these factors contribute to differences in the way people in different countries consume microplastics. National uptake of microplastics is an indicator of plastic pollution and public health risks, said Fenke Yu of Cornell University. Comprehensive, global mapping supports local efforts to mitigate pollution through better water quality control and effective waste recycling, he added. Dietary microplastic consumption was assessed based on data on the concentration of microplastics in subcategories of main food groups, such as fruits, vegetables, cereals, dairy products, beverages, sugars, salt and spices. The researchers also used data showing how much and what types of food are most commonly consumed in a given country. For example, Per capita consumption of table salt is roughly equal in Indonesia and the US, but the concentration of microplastics in Indonesian salt is about 100 times higher. Analyses have shown that Indonesians eat about 15 grams of microplastics per month, more than people in any other country. Most plastic particles come from aquatic sources, such as seafood. The lowest consumption of microplastics is in Paraguay, at approximately 0.85 grams. To calculate inhaled microplastics, 
the researchers used data on the concentration of microplastics in the air, the average age of the population and breathing rates. People in China and Mongolia topped the list, inhaling more than 2.8 million plastic particles a month. High values were also set for residents of Great Britain and Ireland. People living there inhale approximately 791,000 microplastic particles per month. The air least polluted with microplastics is in Spain, Portugal, Hungary, and South Korea. Residents of these countries inhale approximately 60,000 up to approximate 240,000 microplastics per month. Developing economies, especially those in East and South Asia, are consuming more plastic materials and producing more plastic waste, leading to greater uptake of microplastics by humans. The opposite trend is observed in industrialized countries, helped by greater economic resources to reduce and dispose of plastic waste, you said. The study authors noted that their work could help develop microplastics reduction strategies tailored to local economies and industrial contexts. However, such efforts require international cooperation and technological support from developed countries to improve waste reduction strategies. According to scientists, Reducing at least the amount of garbage that ends up in and remains in surface waters can lead to a significant reduction in the risk of absorbing microplastics. Cleaning up the global surface water system is a marathon, influenced by local industrial and socio-economic conditions, said Xiang Zhao. However, our global hotspot map can start this journey and our study highlights that tackling microplastic uptake requires a multifaceted approach, including sustainable packaging solutions, enforcing stringent waste management regulations and improving water treatment technologies, he added.